Hello friends. So here I have an interesting problem for you and by this problem you will learn how to find tension in a string. So we have three blocks and this block has a mass of 5 kg and this block the yellow one has a mass of 8 kg and the green one has a mass of 2 kg. And these three blocks are connected through a string and a force of 300 Newton is applied to this block. So let's call this is A, this is B and this is C. So 300 Newton is applied to block C. Now our question is we have to find tension in each string. So that is what is the tension in this string and what is the tension in this string. Of course, this is not a string, this is simply a force that is applied to block C. So how will you do this problem? Once again, you have to draw the free body diagram. So let us try to see, we have block A. So let us say, if this block is A, and then what are the forces that is acting on this block? The one force that we lacked, that is its bit, and that is nothing but mg and in this case this is 5 times gravity and g is 10 meter per second square and there will be normal reaction because this ground will try to push this up and this force again it will pass through the centroid so it's better to show from here so this is the normal reaction let's call this normal reaction as n1 and this string will try to pull so this string will try to pull, let's call this as a tension T1. How will you know that this string will try to pull? So what you have to do is imagine this string as a spring. So imagine this is not a string, this is a spring. So this is also an a spring. Now think of, if you apply a force here, what will happen? This has a tendency, so this a spring has a tendency to a stretch. This also has a tendency to a stretch. So this is a stretched a string or a stretch a spring. So if you have a spring is a stretched, then this will try to pull this side. And on this block, this spring will try to pull this side. So tension on this block that is on block A will act in this direction and tension on block B will act in this direction. Magnitude will be same, Newton's third law. Let's call this as T1 then this also will be T1. So these are the forces that is acting on block A. Let us see, so this is my block A. Now let us try to draw free body diagram for block B. So what are the forces that is acting? Once again, you will have a bit and the bit is 8 times Z. You know this value and normal reaction will be acting in the upward direction. Now this normal reaction will be different, it will not be N1, it will be different N2 because this block has a different mass. So this is trying to push the ground with a different bait and that's why this will experience a different normal reaction. Let's call this normal reaction is N2. So this is block B or I can say here block B and there is a string that will try to pull this side as I said earlier, this will be T1. Now we also have a string this side and this spring will basically try to pull this side and this will be this side. So let us say this is tension T2. Similarly on block C we can draw the free body diagram. So on block C we will have a normal reaction that is acting in the upward direction that is N3. We will have a bait that is acting in the downward direction. This is 2 times Z and we have a a string force that is tension once again this string force is T2 and the force that is acting is 300 Newton. So now we have the free body diagram now I can write Newton's second law. So we can write Newton's second law in this direction that is horizontal direction that is force in the horizontal direction is equals to mass times acceleration in the horizontal direction let's call horizontal direction as x direction. So if you write 
equation of motion you need to have an acceleration because what will happen if you try to pull this block this will move in this direction let us say this is moving with acceleration a then this block will also move with the same acceleration and this block will also move with the same acceleration why this is so this is because this a string is not going to slack so this a string is not going to slack and this a string also not going to slack so length of the string is always constant so this means if it moves by x distance this also has to move by x distance and this also has to move by distance x so acceleration of all the blocks will remain same so this means now i can say this is moving with acceleration a and this is moving with acceleration a and this is also moving with acceleration a so it's easy to write equation of motion in the horizontal direction for this block we will have tension so tension t1 is equals to mass into acceleration mass is 5 and acceleration is a so this is equation 1 for second block that is block b we can again write equation of motion that is t2 minus t1 because t1 is in the opposite direction so my axis is like this so this axis is positive axis so t2 minus t1 is equals to mass time acceleration mass is 8 and acceleration is a now third one we can write 300 newton minus t2 is equals to mass times acceleration and this case mass is 2 kg so 2 times a so you see mass is given here this is 2 kg so 2 times a so we have three equations so now see what are the knowns we have we have a known t1 t2 and a so we have three equations and three unknown we can solve one easy way to solve this is simply add these three equations so if you add these three equations t1 cancels t2 also gets cancelled so you will have 300 is equals to 15a so from here you will have a is equals to 20 meter per second square so now you know the acceleration you can plug the value in equation 1 and 2 and you can find tension so from equation 1 you can say t1 is equals to 5 times a so 5 times 20 that is 100 newton similarly you can find from equation 2 now t2 minus t1 t1 is 100 is equals to 8 times a a is 20 so from here you can write t2 is equals to 100 plus 160 so this is t2 is equals to 260 newton so now we have calculated t1 and t2 so basically you have calculated tension in both strings so now you know how you can solve this problem by writing equation of motion for each block there is also a possibility to solve the same problem by considering a equivalent system in which the tension in the blocks are internal and then you can calculate so first you will calculate the acceleration and then you will calculate the corresponding tension so what you can do is you can consider this as a whole as a system so in this case we can write force is equals to mass into acceleration because tensile will be the internal forces so in that case you can write force 300 newton is equals to mass times acceleration mass will be 5 plus 8 plus 2 times acceleration so from here you can directly get acceleration that is 20 meter per second square so once you know acceleration then you can write individual free body diagram for each block and then you can calculate tension in each string so either you can basically draw free body diagram of each block or you can consider a equivalent system or overall system in that case the tensile will be the internal force so any way is good so either you use individual systems or individual blocks draw the free body diagram for individual block 
or you can first solve for acceleration and then solve for each block and find tension. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.